What's good, everybody? You with Tunisia Locks, and I am Tunisia Ali, and I am going to do this video on the shampoo that I use to wash my hair. I make my own shampoo out of this Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. I've been using this now for, I guess, six years. And honestly, I'm going to credit this and what I do with it to my tremendous growth. And when you see how fast my hair has grown, and I'm gonna, as I begin to put up more videos, you'll see how fast it's really been growing. Now, it may look long here, and trust me, guys, y'all know I'm chronic about Lent. I was sitting in the car today picking Lent, okay? This is crazy, but I've had a knee on the steering wheel with an elbow holding the other side of the wheel, riding down the street, catching lint. Now, you know, I washed my hair last night and I did those curls, right? So you already know when you wash your hair and you have lint, the lint starts to show up even more, although it's easier to pull out. But I spotted some white pieces of lint and I thought, okay, where's my camera so that I can show my beloved followers what goes on with the lint oops look at that i think and this is not even a lint video but can you see that this has to be dealt with <laughs> i may be the only one that can see it but that's good enough for me so anyway we're doing this shampoo thing now if you look at my hair it's gotten long and bear in mind folks look at that bear in mind that i have really abuse my hair in some senses with this lint and pulling stuff out because today even you can see what happens to my ends when I pull the lint out right this is what happens I don't care because I got to get that lint out we paid money for this hair it needs to look right and I can't have lint in it but my hair has continued to grow it's very strong I think I mentioned how often I color my hair although I haven't colored it in the last few months I'm going to let the color, leave the color thing alone because it dried it out some. I'm going to leave it alone. But I was coloring my hair on the regular. And I don't put a lot of energy and effort into my hair. I do two things regularly that I know have saved my hair. I formulate a synergistic oil blend for my hair, which I'll do in another video. And I'll shampoo my hair with this particular blend that I'm going to show you today. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is what has strengthened my hair. And I have a, have a lovely locked sister who wrote a comment and asked me to show you guys yesterday how I am doing this. And so I said, well, what the heck? Naima, since I ran out of my shampoo last night, go out and get me some more so I can show my sister how to do this. And my brothers too. I got a couple comments from brothers. So this is a channel for sisters and brothers. So I got the Pure Castile soap, right? And essentially, this is soap that is free of all of those harmful, harmful chemicals and crap that the lovely U.S. has distorted our, not only our food supply, but our beauty supply products, our water, and every damn thing else that they do that is so counterproductive to human life and prosperity. So what you want to do, this soap goes a long way. And the interesting dynamic is this soap, guys, is very foamy. When you put this soap in, you know you're, you, it foams up, unlike something without those dangerous uh, additives. But you will fill up a bottle. This bottle is about 16 ounces, the same amount as this almond oil. So fill it up about a third of it, okay? So if this is approximately a third, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is another third, that's another third. So about a third you're going to fill with, you know, this liquid Castile soap. They have it in all flavors. I can't take peppermint, it messes up my tummy and I just don't like it. So I got lavender, I love lavender. I put probably a tablespoon of almond oil in, oil in there. Now, I uh, recommend that you also put a little bit of jojoba oil because I mentioned to you before, jojoba oil is a detangler. So these are conditionings. Now, there are some essential oils that you need to make sure you put in here. And when I say essential oils, I really mean essential, essential oils. 
because we're using essential oils. This is a fatty oil. This is not a fatty oil. This is a fatty oil, okay? The essential oils, which are not fatty oils, we're going to use clove. This is your best friend. If you are Noah and you have to get on the ark, after you take your cayenne pepper, your garlic, and your lavender, you take cloves next. It is antifungal, anti-inflammatory, uh, and it's anti, uh, well, it's antiviral too, but it's also antibacterial. This is for the stuff that happens up in here that gets yucky smelling. And this is for the days that you wash your hair. And they say a lot of times locks can hold moisture. And if you don't properly dry them, you can actually begin to grow mold from the inside out, which you don't want. So I have clove oil here. And these are supposed to be therapeutic grade oils, folks. But you know, you got to know where you're sourcing your stuff from. I got these from Amazon, but I use a lot of now oils for my other like when I make other blends for other things, whether it be acne or um, scars. But those oils, I make sure if I'm putting them, them on my skin directly or I have to ingest them, which I seldom recommend, that they are really high-grade oils. So clove oil is the one that I put, because I'm going to fill this up with shampoo, about 35 drops of clove oil in here. Now, clove oil is very, very strong. The synergistic blend of these oils will be extremely strong. You're going to take your rosemary. Now, you know rosemary is excellent for growth, follicle health, scalp health. It's very good. So you want to put 15 drops of this in. I'm running out. But that's okay. A few oils, a few more here. They are no biggie. Lavender as well. Up there with cloves, about 30 drops. You know, this is one of the oils that's more harmless than the others. Cloves is very caustic, so you have to be careful because it can irritate your skin. Um, okay. You also want a little bit of cinnamon leaf antibacterial not a necessity not a necessity don't feel bad if you don't have the cinnamon leaf okay you want 10 drops of cinnamon leaf all right remember the synergistic result will be greater than the sum of its parts now I'm also going to put in a little bit of clary sage Huh? Eight drops of this. Don't you love the way I'm giving you a specific number of drops? Do you guys want to know if I'm a chemist? The answer is no. <laughs> Buyer beware. I'm just joking. The infamous geranium. Good for so many things. Restimulating growth of cells. Great for collagen building, for scars, for so many things, but it is a strong smell. I love it, but, well, I love it to an extent for what it does, but it's very strong smelling. But you're using this for shampoo, so it's not going to be too overwhelming, okay? You want to put 10 drops of this in. This is very powerful. Now, um, I used to put carrot oil in my blend. Carrot oil is pure, pure Egyptian carrot oil. Amazing for the hair, guys. Amazing for the skin. But it smells so strong. It's so potent that people will smell you when you go into a place. It's not so bad in the shampoo, but you definitely can't put it in your hair oil. But even for the shampoo, it's pretty strong. It is very strong, even if you use two or three drops. So I'm, I'm leaving that out. And the last thing I'm going to put in here is going to be what I like for the smell. Now, I love the clove has a beautiful smell and it glows well with most citrusy kinds of oils. But I like citrusy oils. Bergamot is good for the hair anyway. So this is a combination that I mixed of a little bit of bergamot, a little bit of lemon, and a little bit of mandarin, and a little bit of orange. You can just go with, you know, lemon. You know lemon is good for the hair, okay? So you wanted to use lemon or you wanted to use a little bit of orange. Or don't overdo the orange, though, because it will irritate the scalp. 
So I'm going to put in here, I like the smell of it, okay? That's really why I'm using this, 15. The key again is for your, mmm, it smells very good. And you're going to fill the rest up with water. And you're going to shake very well. Okay. And remember I said if you have any jojoba, a tiny bit of jojoba would be nice. Your hair will love that. If you decide that you want to use a tad bit more of the clove, you can't go wrong. When he puts his head in your hair or she puts her head in your hair, it's always going to smell good. Okay, no matter what's going on outside or what happened at the gym. You have a nice smell. And you can judge if you want to add a little bit more of clove. Remember, the clove is my primarily not only for its scent. I need a little more citrus. Uh, five, about five to six more drops. You will judge the outcome based upon your particular preference. And that's really it, guys. When you wash your hair with this, when your hair is fully wet and you put just a tiny bit, maybe two drops here, two drops here, three here, a couple here, a couple over there, you're going to suds up really, really good. And then you put a little bit on your, on your, um, yeah, it smells good on the actual hair. So really good. This will last you for a long time. And remember the original container was this, but you don't use this in a concentrated way. Three parts to one part. Uh, shampoo three parts sh uh, water one part shampoo so this is what you got folks you got a wonderful recipe that will cut back on scalp funkiness that will groom your scalp keep your follicles and your um, hair hygiene up to par it's going to maximize growth okay believe me when I tell you it'll maximize growth and thickness and it will not interfere with your locks. Now, obviously, if you're early in your lock journey, then you need to make sure that you're banding when you wash. Please band. I don't care what they say. Please take the time to band. And when I banded, it, in the beginning, I was banding like about this much hair. I plait all the way down. Okay, I had some short pieces in there, made sure I got them in there. Plat it nice and loose, nice and loose, looser than this maybe, and then I put my band on there, okay? And then you know as you're doing your scalp, they said don't scrub. I got to scrub my scalp, people. I scrub my scalp. You see my hair is healthy. It did, I didn't suffer any casualties. Did this thing here, and then when I got it soapy, I did this, back and forth, back and forth, and then I rinsed. With this shampoo, you'll find you don't need to use three and four washes one will you'll find your hair is not going to be that dirty it's not this stuff will keep your hair clean because remember it's antibacterial it's anti um microbial it's anti everything okay but that's pretty much it everybody i think i said everything i needed to say the next thing i'm going to do on the next video tomorrow is just show you the oil that i use in my hair because again that is very very key and the oil, it travels, guys, because yesterday my hair was looking crazy and dry outside. Remember, I didn't want to get the oil on my shirt today. But before I left, all I did was do a little here. And I did this and worked it down. And my hair is a lot, has a little more sheen. Oh, gosh, you see those grays? They say the grays will fight this uh, lock. I don't know what that's going to be like. But anyway... You don't need a lot of oil. We're going to go over my recipe for oil tomorrow. It's a little bit different than this, but not major. I hope that you got something out of today's video. And I hope that you will stay tuned for the next video where I will show you one of my recipes for the essential oil synergistic blend that I use to make these locks grow really long. And again, I'll put the video up that will give you some snippets of what my hair looked like over time and how it got to the point that it's at now where it's really long and it's it's really healthy 
And I think I told you guys I have never lost a lock. Not one. Never lost a lock. If I have any issues with uneven locks, it's because of what I did to myself and what I keep doing to my locks. And it's working for me, so I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm not, nobody's going to tell me what to do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've never lost a lock. And my hair is very healthy. It's very healthy. I don't have any locks that are thinning. I don't have any locks that, um, you know, have thinned in certain places. They're all even. Even the ones I fooled around with in terms of, you know, a thinning that would happen to where you see some people's locks, it looks like in the middle, the middle part is so thin, it's just going to break off. I don't have any locks like that. And again, I'm going to say it's because of the regimen that I use and also the fact that I don't overwash my hair. I don't put any other chemicals in my hair. I don't use any mousses. I've used mousse maybe twice with these, made them feel a little harder than it did with water. Didn't really like that. That's when I was doing curls. I don't put anything else in my hair. Now, when I did color it, let me let me clarify. When I colored my hair with that Vidal Sassoon stuff, I was using the Vidal Sassoon uh, steak color or whatever it is to kind of ho hold the color in. I would use that, but you got to bear in mind, I was washing my hair maybe once every four or five weeks because I didn't want the color to wash out. And again, you can look at my scalp at any time. And I had people, when I got these, first of all, when I moved to Georgia, my scalp did all type of crazy stuff. I had scratchy scalp. I always had dandruff, always had issues, mostly the dandruff and the flaking at the top. I don't have any of that. My scalp is completely healthy. And if you caught me yesterday before I washed my hair, you could see that my scalp still looked like this. And I hadn't washed my hair in weeks. So my scalp is very healthy, and if it wasn't, I don't think my, my hair could be growing like this. So anyway, I hope you guys something out the video. Love to you guys. Send me a comment. Subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in even more conscious stuff, if you're interested in quantum physics, uh, consciousness creates your reality, raising your vibration, learning how to travel timelines, par parallel realities, and things like that. I discuss that stuff in healing, energy healing, clearing energy blocks, uh, bringing abundance into your life. I discuss that on my other channel, Butterfly Transformations. Uh, that's the name of it, Butterfly Transformations on YouTube, and the website is butterflytransformations.com. That's the site that's really going to get you where you got to go. And to be honest with you, had I not awakened to the need to evolve and to make changes in my life. I never would have cut all of my hair and got these locks. I never would have learned about essential oils. These oils initially came about because of the soul desire to raise my vibration. So I use a lot of high vibration oils like rose oil, frankincense, um, oils like that that help you get into a certain mindset. Lavender oils that help you not only relax, but help prime you for meditation and help you to reach altered states of consciousness, depending upon how you use them. And so uh, that's where my passion truly is. And that's actually what I do for a living. I'm an educator. I'm a Reiki healer and a life coach. And I deal in principles of prosperity, consciousness and wealth creation. I do this for fun because I love to talk. And it seems, unfortunately, this channel can grow quickly in a couple of three days. And the channel that I really would like people to be watching, which has to do with lifting the consciousness on the planet and the awareness of our people, it's harder to get that channel to grow. So I figured in my spare time, I would also share a part of me with you guys on this channel. So hopefully you feel like you benefited. And if you did, leave me a comment. Love to you all, and until next time, and I won't wait long, I promise. When y'all send me these comments, it gets me fired up, you know. I had a Reiki session tonight, did some healing, um, came on back in here and saw some of these comments and said, you know what, I got some folks out there that want to know how to make this oil so they can wash their hair, make their own shampoo. So get up, girl, get those lights sit on down there and make this video. So that's what I did. And I did it from a place of love. So thank you guys so much. And I talk a lot. I love to talk. So send me a comment, like, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you again soon.